Hello, my name is Justin. I'm the Science and Operations Officer here at the National Weather Service Office in Gaylord, Michigan. Um, I'm going to do a demonstration today of the di Diurnal T Update Tool um, as part of the ESTF. Basically, this tool is to, to update the next 6 or 12 hours of temperature grids based on any discrepancies that your current grids have um, with respect to the observations. So, for example, let's have a case here where maybe our temperatures are running a little too high. Um, and uh, let's, um, let's select the next you know, six hours or so. And what you will do to run the tool under uh, temperature, it'll be a smart tool, diurnal T update. You run it right here. And then the following options come up. First, basically, what would you like to, it, it's, it's going to populate your zero hour grid with OBS and then um, interpolate forward, um, kind of holding to your old diurnal curve or something else that you specify. So first, what do you want to use for the OBS? Um, with a good, you know, with well done OBS grid QC, I think your OBS grid would probably be a good choice here, but you have LAPS and MSAS as well. Um, also, what diurnal curve would you kind of like to hold to? Um, have you been doing some work in the forecast database that you'd like to make use of, or is the official database um, what's currently published uh, actually what you would like to use? Would you like to keep your temperature within the previous minimax T grids? Um, this kind of is the type of idea, say it's mid morning update time, maybe temperatures are warming a little faster than the uh, grids originally had, but say for example that you like the max T grid and you'd like to hold that hold to that, well then you can you can select this option. Um, you also have the option of whether you want to hold uh, um, to both the minimax T grid or to neither. And in this case maybe maybe if you're willing to have those temperature grids go without outside the original bounds of minimax T grids that you have. Uh, you can select neither here. Also in different non-diurnal um, situations you may want to ensure that your temperatures are steady or rising or steady or falling. Um, in this case here where I'm going to just show an afternoon update I'll say neither. And then create difference grids. Basically would you like to see the change that was made by the tool? So let's put that on yes so you can see how this works and run it. First of all you see it will light up those temperature grids. It will base also um, we'll go in and um, populate those uh, change grids. And for example, I just did a simple scenario where all of my uh, temperatures were two degrees too warm. So the uh, by copying in the OBS grid, it basically dropped them by two um, because I uh, started with something too warm. And it creates a, uh, basically a uh, um, diurnal trace that was exactly the same as what you had before. But if you look at the change grid, You'll see it slowly decreases with time, such that basically the change or the difference between observations and what your original forecast had will gradually it'll be projected forward with weakening influence as you leave the zero hour. You know you don't there's you don't want your uh, high temperature or your high temperatures on day two to be impacted by the fact that your um, temperatures are warming too much on day one. Um, but this is a so this is more of a near term six to twelve hourly update where you can basically capture that original uh, diurnal curve or you can maybe exceed your minimax T's. Um, remember, I, I, I was I when I ran this tool, um, I said I was willing for the uh, temperature trace to go outside the bounds of my original minimax T's. So what do I need to do after that? Something like the max T or uh, max T smart tool, something to rederive these max T's based on your T grids would be. Uh, um, um, worthwhile so that you can uh, make sure that you're consistent. So a Minty grid um, and we can save it then we're all set. So basically this is a nice way to quickly update just a few s hours of grids uh, to basically ensure that your temperatures are in line with uh, current observations and this, thus your uh, upcoming Minimax T's will also be uh, um, updated based on uh, uh, what's going on. Thanks for listening.